Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come out here and talk about this story. And it's coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. As crazy as Vegas is and how folks say whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, we really don't get a lot of Vegas news, strangely enough. But this story is really disturbing. It's starting to go viral on social media. So what happened is that basically we have a 27-year-old man. His name is James Michael Beach. And so he was in Vegas with some of his friends. I think he lives in the Las Vegas area. And there was a 45-year-old man. His name was Luis Campos. And he was in Vegas for a bachelor party with his brother. So it was him and a few of his friends. They were standing outside of a nightclub. It's called the Vanguard Lounge. And they were getting ready to go in. They were just standing there, you know, talking amongst themselves. When James Beach, the 27-year-old, basically walked up to Luis Campos and asked him what he was staring at. And Luis Campos said something back to him like, you know, I don't know. I wasn't staring at you. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, totally unprovoked, James Beach punches him, straight up sucker punches him. The man falls. I don't know if he hit his head the wrong way or if it was just solely the sucker punch to the head that did something to him. But this man, who was 45 years old, who's also a father of five, ended up dying at the hospital later on that day. This whole situation is nuts. The police went back and looked at the video camera and they ended up seeing James Beach and now he's been arrested. But what's so crazy about this incident is that James Beach, he went to state prison back in September 2014. And then before then, when he was 19 years old, he was locked up back in 2008 for a deadly weapons charge. So why this man is out walking around, I don't know. This whole situation is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, days of searching, the suspect wanted for killing a La Puente man in an attack in Las Vegas is in custody. Today, the victim's family is speaking out. Eyewitness News reporter Giovanna Lara joins us now with what they're saying. Giovanna. Mark, the wife of 45-year-old Louis Campos, says she feels hate and rage when she sees the mugshot of the man who was accused of killing her husband. But today, she's feeling grateful for his arrest and for the support she's received from the public. My husband, Louis, was an amazing person, so loving, big-hearted. In her grief, Julie Campos is expressing thanks today, today after the weekend arrest of the man police say is responsible for the fatal sucker punch that killed her husband, Louis Campos, just a week ago. Las Vegas police arrested 27-year-old James Michael Beach on Sunday. Security videos captured Beach leaving the scene of the April 30th attack. He robbed my husband of a beautiful life that we had and we were building together and my beautiful children of their father. Louis Campos was in Las Vegas for his brother's bachelor party, standing in line outside a club when police say Beach, walking by, stopped to ask Campos what he was looking at, then threw a punch. It was a senseless act of violence. The brother and mother of 45-year-old Luis Campos still can't believe it happened. I got the last picture that they took together at dinner and he said, Mom, I'm having a blast. And then two o'clock in the morning, I've got my phone's blown out by all the rest of the brothers. Obviously nothing's gonna bring them back, but I'm just so thankful to everybody for all the help, you know, and especially the police department for bringing a little, a little bit of, you know, peace of mind, you know, that this guy's off the street and he won't do it to another family. Authorities say the 27-year-old Beach is an ex-felon who served prison time in 2008 in an attempted murder and battery case that included a weapons charge. I want him uh, prosecuted, you know, to the fullest extent of the law. I don't want to see anything good happen in his life. You know, he doesn't deserve that. Campos tells us she plans to be at Beach's trial every day and to keep the memory of her husband alive for his five children. I am going to keep his spirit alive by, you know, of course, keeping pictures all throughout the house, always talk about my husband and, you know, just make sure that they know him, whether he's here or not. And again, Luis Campos leaves behind five children, his youngest, just one and two years old. Beach's attorney says his client didn't mean to kill Campos and will plead not guilty to a murder charge. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said, I feel so bad for this woman. She's lost her husband. You have five children now without a father. And all because of what? Because somebody just decided to be funny and sucker punch him. I love how his lawyer is making excuses and saying that this was just a freak accident and that James didn't mean to kill this man. But my thing is, this is not a freak accident. He knew exactly what he was doing. He literally picked a random person out of a crowd, walked up to him and asked him what he was looking at. 
When the man is sitting here engaging and talking to his family members and his people that he came to visit at a bachelor party. They had no idea who James was. Nobody was staring at him. So I don't know if this man is having flashbacks to being in prison because we know that's how they get down in prison. Any little thing sets folks off. If you stare too long, they're ready to fight you. But... In a civilized society, in the real world, this is not what people do. Even if he was staring at him, the proper response is not to just punch somebody's lights out. And this is why I always tell folks that you have to have emotional self-control because you never know what can happen. You might just think you're about to whoop somebody's ass or just punch them and they can honestly die from those injuries. Now this idiot is being charged with murder as he should. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he was drunk. I don't care if he was high. He's responsible for this man's death. He's responsible for his actions. He did not have to engage with this man. At any point in time, he could have stopped. He could have walked away. But he chose to be the violent offender that he is. And he chose to put his hands on somebody being the bully that he is. And now he doesn't want to be held responsible for his actions. I find that just disgraceful. The fact that the lawyer is trying to make excuses for him. I understand that's what a defense lawyer is supposed to do. But I'm not buying this. Obviously, this man is a habitual criminal. He's been locked up off and on since 2008 for very violent offenses this man most likely should have still been in jail but the prison system decided to give him another chance to let him out and instead of him taking advantage of that and working and doing what he has to do he's still engaging in fuckery I say that the state of Nevada needs to go ahead and lock his ass up and throw away the key. Somebody like this does not deserve to be out in the real world. This is just really frightening. And also remember that this could have happened to anybody. He chose this man at random. So this could have been you in Vegas, me in Vegas, your cousin, your brother. This could have been anybody affected by this. Everybody can't take a punch to the head. You know, so this whole situation is just really, really disturbing. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.